daytime video of the utility rider. I told everybody I'd try to get that to show the paint job shadow. In order to get it to blend in with the shadow, you got to make it look like a shadow. Very little contrast. Make it look blurred. If it looks cool, it's too flashy. It's not camo. Got to break up the lines, got to break up the contrast, make it hard to focus on. That is the best way to camouflage anything. Get a little mud on it now so it's shiny. A little dried mud. The uglier the better. Fairly dark. A little bit of highlights for the sake of making it look like light getting through. Like I said before, that's a upgrade motor. Had it on our old machine. Gonna scrap out. Just happens to be a low hour motor, so I pull the 12 single cylinder out. Put this 18 opposed twin, 18 horse Briggs opposed twin. And uh, plenty enough motor. Plenty enough motor for anything I need. Maybe a little overpower. Overpowered for this uh, small of a mower, but it fit in. No frame or body modifications other than a little bit. I had to pull that out just a hair. Keep it from knocking against the ends of the heads there. I'm going to put a pulley here, about six, seven inch pulley and a 50 amp alternator where the gas tank is. 12 volt Chevy, one wire alternator. Under the rack on the back, we'll go a deep cycle battery. Somewhere in there I'll have to mount my new gas tank under the seat or fenders or something. But. Uh, be able to jump start cars, trucks, tractors, whatever. I want to get a 10,000 watt belt driven generator without the power plant right off the mower deck uh, pulley. I may have to double that. You can either set it out to the side over here, run the belts out, tension them, or mount it on the back of the machine, run a belt underneath the transaxle and uh, they'll drive your 10,000 watt generator, power your home, tools, whatever. Also with a, say a 2,000 watt inverter, you can run power, uh, small power tools and stuff like that, saws, drills, grinders. Anyway, that is my project. Like I say, I'm designating it a utility rider. And it's been a long time sitting. Pulled the paint out, painted it a little bit, got to thinking that it needs a motor. Uh, so I'm going to get it going. Mow my yard before it gets too deep to see the 
cars or anything out here. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. I'll update as soon as I get, uh, say, the alternator or something on there. But uh, yeah, this thing's going to be nice at the deer camp. If I get to go this year, mow the camp and around the feeders and what have you. But yeah, like I say, can hardly beat a ride and more for adding options. Extremely underutilized. Had a little hydraulic pump, you got yourself a log splitter power plant. You run a 10,000 watt generator with 12, 14 horses or more. Nice thing about a Briggs motor is very easy to convert to wood gas. You don't have to spend $50 a day for gasoline to run your generator that way if you lose power for weather purposes or whatever cause the power to go off. You got uh, plenty of wood laying around. You got plenty of fuel. Anyway, I like smaller the better with the bigger motor to power the heavier stuff like the generators and what have you. Actually gets pretty, pretty good uh, well, uses about half the fuel with this bigger motor than it did when I had the 12 horse in it. may have something to do with the twin cylinder. I'm not sure. But uh, it does make mowing a yard a little quieter with that two cylinder on it. Much better muffler. Sounds better. Can't think of anything else right now. Uh, let me see. It does have the variable speed V-belt drive. Works off the pedal. They call it hydrostatic. Ain't nothing hydrostatic about it. It's just a variable speed V-belt drive with a forward and reverse transaxle. I do have a cast iron three-speed lawn tractor transaxle I want to put in it. That'll give me the variable speed with an underdrive, drive, and overdrive. With the double pulley swap I want to do. Two pulleys, one four and one seven. One four and a half and one seven, I think. On the bottom of the motor, I'll have high and low range, variable speed in both, plus underdrive, drive, and overdrive. Which will give me speeds anywhere from creeping to, depending on what range I've got it in and what uh, gear I've got it in, uh, anywhere from, like, say, creeping to 20, 25. Don't really need to go faster than 20 on a riding mower. Don't need to go half that fast my age anyway. But if you're trying to outrun a couple of wild hogs it do make the capability nice to have anyway that's my ugly little mower it's a 42 inch 12 horse originally it was a wizard I think they made them out of the MTDs or whatever uh, stuck wizard on the side but uh, I like the older mowers because their mowing decks are better mounted, mows a cleaner looking yard. Well, I've got super bright LEDs I'm going to mount on the front, underneath the corners of the back, all around view, flip a switch. Also, I'm going to take a piece of pipe somewhere and run it to the length of the frame so I can pull it out, stick it on the back with some super bright LEDs to kind of light up the work area. I think it'd be nice to be able to back it up to someone with your tools on the back, pull your light out, hook it up, be able to see what you're doing. Anyway, that's it. Notice it's getting a little dark, getting harder to see. Like I said, it blends in real good with the environment. 
it ain't camoed unless it's ugly. Hard to see. Patterns might look cool, but patterns are not camouflage. They're contrast. And contrast is bad. Later.